you always got one thing you can look forward to every year, and you know it's coming. That's when the fair comes to town. Oh, yeah. I love the fair. Hey, <laughs> you see people at a fair you don't see anywhere else ever. Anytime else ever. It's like they've been hiding all year. At a good fair, the animals are watching the people walk around. <laughs> hmm. What in the hell that? What is he? How did he get on two legs like that? You don't have to pay for the sideshows, man. Forget the animals, half the people walking around in there could charge you a dollar. <laughs> hey, look at me. Look at my hump. <laughs> That's a dollar. You see some weird people in there, some odd looking people. Hey, I saw this one lady. She had the biggest, roundest, lumpiest, most whitest, glorious ass I have ever seen in my life. It was glorious. It was. It was one big ass with seven or eight other asses stacked up on top of that ass. She's like an ass collector. Just walking around like this, man. Just stealing other people's asses. Come here, I'll tell you something. That's my ass now. Just walking around wearing spandex too, man. I know. Sexy. <laughs> I, do not, I do not understand fair fashion. I don't, like, how do people decide what they're going to wear the day of the fair? It's like they wake up that morning and go, huh? We're going to the fair? Let me get my worst looking sh <laughs> I'm going to wear these terry cloth sweatpants. You don't have to wear underwear with these. Not me, man. I'ma bounce down that midway like an epileptic holding a garden hose. You've all seen that guy. I know you have no underwear, sweatpants. His thing's just bouncing around like a tachometer hurricane. Little kids are stopping to stare. Mama, he's got a dog in his pants. Don't look at that. Might be a trouser schnauzer. <laughs> They're all freaks, man. But my favorite freaks are the ones that try to get you to come in and look at their freaks. You know what I'm talking about? The sideshow Barker dudes. I was walking down the midway. There was a dude standing there, had a microphone, cord, amplifier. That was his whole get up. And he was just yelling at people as they went past him. He was going, you must see the world's largest rat. And I heard that and I stopped. I was like, oh hell, he's right. <laughs> I gotta see this thing. And he kept going, this rat drinks gallons of water daily. This rat eats pounds of raw meat. This rat came here on a Harley Davidson motorcycle. <laughs> and you go in there and you look at the rat, it's just a possum. It's not even moving. I said, dude, that is a dead possum. It's always a ripoff. I can't help myself. Because <laughs> the fair has weird effects on you, you know? It does. Like, you will eat stuff at the fair you would never eat anywhere else ever. <laughs> and you'll let people serve you. You would never let serve you anywhere else. <laughs> I found myself one time waiting in line, waiting to buy a pole of sausage from a man who only had one arm. And I just kept looking down at that sausage, looking up at his arm. And then it's my turn. He goes, what you want? I said, what happened to your arm? He goes, don't worry about it. I'll take a Diet Coke. I'm stuffed. I had some carny arm sausage earlier today. I couldn't have another bite, man. But it was delicious. Because they can make anything taste good at the fair. 
No, because they fry everything. No, they fry apples, they fry ice cream, they fry Snickers bars, they have fried dough. That's what I love, fried dough. Hey, how far down on the fry chain do you think they got before some guys, man, we're out of stuff to fry. His buddy's like, no, we ain't either. I've been waiting for this moment. Fry that dough right there. Trust me. Fry that dough, put some powdered sugar on it. They will eat it. And it's delicious. I love it too. Yeah.